back. Daybreak is local all morning long. This morning we have David, Liz, and Courtney with us. They are going to be performing. They have an upcoming performance with Charlie Parker's Yardboard without Bird, without giving us too many details. Can you tell us a little bit about the play, what to expect? Sure. Um, so Charlie Parker's Yardbird is about the jazz musician Charlie Parker. And in the show, we explore elements and certain events in his life. Um, and both Courtney and I play significant women in his life. Well, that's a good time to do it now. Yeah. That it's in, you know, March and <laughs> yes. Women's History Month. Exactly. And Charlie had um, ties to this area. Talk a little bit about that, David. Yes, he did. Indianapolis was a favorite location of not only Charlie Parker but his best friend, Dizzy Gillespie. They were anchored in the Chicago area most of the time, but they would slide down to here and play in the famous jazz clubs on Indiana Avenue and that location exactly where the Madame Walker Theater is. So this is basically bringing. Charlie and Dizzy back to Indiana, bringing the Indiana debut of this most prolific 21st century opera, and to showcase not only the opera, but also our own opera star, Angela Brown, in the, sh in the role that was written for her, and she's reprising it just for the Indianapolis community in the role of Addie Parker, which was Charlie Parker's mother. So there's a lot of women influences in this story, and it also has some health history related to to Indiana and Indianapolis specifically. And Courtney, it is very special to be performing in the Madam Walker Theater. Tell mm -hmm. us why. Well, that is one of the spaces that uh, both Dizzy and Charlie thoroughly enjoyed to perform at We're here in Indianapolis. So That is really cool. So tell us what else, what makes you so excited about this performance? It's just really unique to get to have the opportunity to, one, present an opera that has a contemporary basis, um, but then specifically yeah. in that Charlie Parker is someone that, you know, is known still within our our public imagination. And so it's just really wonderful to get to bring that piece of history, almost living history, right? It's so close um, to life because typically opera things, they've happened in the, the distant past, <laughs> right. but this is much more immediate and I feel like that also makes it more accessible for folks mm -hmm. because it's people that we've heard of, people that we know, and it has jazz influences. So it's a style of music too that's a little bit more, I think, accessible than most people might think. Liz and Courtney, I realize I'm putting you on the spot right now, but we do have a little time. Are you open to performing for us? Sure. Definitely. Yeah. Go right great. ahead if you can. Okay. Um, do you want to go first? Yes. Great. So this piece is in the first part of the opera, and it is by his wife, his first wife, Rebecca Parker. And I am heartbroken that my husband wants to leave me with my baby, my newborn baby, mm. when he promised me that he would take care of me. Mm -hmm. This is ain't easy. Ain't mm. easy. It ain't easy. Singing for us? No, well. no. Um, and so this little excerpt is actually a really great juxtaposition of styles. So you get that beautiful lyric singing that we just heard exhibited by Courtney. But then there's also a lot of really interesting words. So this part of the opera, uh, Nika, my character, is worried about what the newspapers might say about a certain scandal that um, comes up. So this is her kind of envisioning the headline, so it's like more wordy, a little bit more angular, but still has that jazz style. So, blinded and bedazzled by this luscious, silky, black haired, jet eyed, Circe of high society, the yard bird was a fallen sparrow. Now you see why it's so important for you to check out this performance. I did not mean to cut you, you off, totally but fine. please cut Ooh. me off. 
Great job. We have to check in with meteorologist Ryan Morris. He has to tell us about the weather, That's but we fair. know to get the information on our website so that you can check out the performance for yourself.